Hello everyone and welcome to Eternal Hope Prologue, given to me by Double Hit Games. Now from what I've been told, this is a CGS game, so I'm kind of hoping that Totoro will turn up. I hope I said that right, because I've actually never watched my neighbor Totoro, Totoro. Um, so this was given to me, as said, by Double Hit Games. Thank you so, so much for this opportunity. I've been interested in this game ever since you actually um, showed it to me. So let's get into the game. First though, I'm going to turn the audio back up because I had to turn it down because um, it was messing with my recording a bit. Hopefully it won't mess with it too much. Um, we're going to ignore that one because unfortunately that is no longer valid, so let's go. Hello little man running in the corner, trying to reach the flame that's forever burning. Alone for his whole life. I like the art style, first of all. I like the whole noir thing. Reminds me of, um... Reminds me of, uh, Limbo and Inside. Neither of which I've actually played. So it's... It's kind of, um, disappointing in myself that I haven't played those games I just mentioned. His... He also reminds me loosely of, um... The main character from... Um, Little Nightmares. Which is also a brilliant game. Thanks to my friend Ninus who bought me that game for my birthday once. Oh, now it's all colourful. I do really like the art style. I can't fault the art style. It's very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Please don't watch me. Freak. Alley up. Wondering why he wasn't good enough. Oh, I feel sorry for Wee Man. Why he wasn't loved enough. This that sounds really sad. It actually does. Poor guy. Can I jump into the basket? Oh, I didn't make it. I was so close. Wee! He sought out answers. Just say that basket thing there reminds me of um first creatures game. We had to look after these creatures. They used to love. Um, okay. Um... Ooh! I heard... Did you guys hear that? There. Up again. See, the problem is, I'm so used to using the space bar as, um... The jump button. I literally have my finger resting on space for every time I want to jump to try and remember it's the up cue. And hoped that someday meet someone. That's humming, singing, humming, whatever it is. I'm not gonna No, it's her scarf. Oh, that's happy music. After so many years, he finally found what he was searching for. I really like the music. Someone to talk to. Oh, How cute! His life was filled with joy. He'd really be up there. As the years passed, their feelings grew stronger. I wonder how many years they've actually been together. He would never be alone again. That is foreshadowing at its finest. Also, I have a friend who is really against people carving into trees. I'm really hoping she doesn't see this. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really like the little man. I kept Let's get this guy in. When we man, I actually played another game. Um, where you actually have to look after a, a, um, a character for IRL 300, 300 days, something like that. And I called him Wee Man. She waited for him where they first met. Jump! I don't trust the water. I thought I was going to fall in for a moment. This time he was late. Late for a very late. Up! 
Word of advice, folks. Do not jump in the water. It is very bad for your health. Having said that, having said that, there are, um, I actually thinking there's going to be like a few games where if you jump in the water, at least pull yourself back out. But I'm guessing we man here can't swim at all, so... I, I, for a moment there, I thought I wasn't going to make that. Swing like Tarzan. Swing. I do like the story so far. Let's be careful here. And I want to go down. I don't want to jump down. I just want to go down. There. Okay. Let's do this. Deep down he knew. Oh, whoa, don't, 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 don't put me in the water like that. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Me one water zero. <laughs> Something was right about that. I like storms actually. I've always liked storms. I don't know why it is. I like storms, rain, and I like snow. Not very keen on because we're in the middle of summer. Is she just humming again? Oh. Oh. You'd have thought she sounded a bit more scared or something. Oh! At that moment, time stood still. You're just gonna shock me? Oh no, you didn't hit me. The ground began to crumble. Slow mo running at its finest, guys. Oh dear. He would do anything to save her. Oh no. But slowly she disappeared before his eyes. Oh no, I hate I hate characters that look like that. Oh no. I don't like that kind of thing. Like the, the, there was nothing he could do. Oh, bless wee man. To save the love of his life. I don't know what it is, but I love characters where their eyes betray all their emotions it's like someone once said the eyes are the doors to the soul and the heart or is it or something like that at least oh hi oh we don't cry okay guys we're gonna call this guy we man and we're gonna call his love we lass so the here lies we lass Oh, with her flower on the grave. So, about movement in the game. You'll notice that he is moving very slow and he is behind a tree right now. But he is moving very slow right now. And I have this thing, I mentioned it in a previous review. I don't like games more than they should be. However, having said that, when it comes to emotional, when, when it comes to trying to portray emotional situations in games like this, but slow movement is perfect. It shows just how much they have been affected. You miss her, don't you? Like a part of you is gone. A pain that is almost unbearable. You feel empty, lost. Having said that, I've also come across games where someone dies in the game that's meant to be close to your character and they're moving around as if they're just fine. I think the developers have got it correct here because you can see that his eyes, if you look carefully, his eyes aren't as full. They're not fully open, they're like half open. And his head is constantly down. Perfect. Have a sluggish movement to know that he is grieving. Well done, developers. I don't. You're showing emotion by tiny bits, but it works really, really well. Well, perhaps I can show you. Who is the way to bring her back? Oh, hello. Hi there. 
Don't be afraid, little boy. I won't hurt you. I have souls in this realm, and I have a fame task. Don't touch me. When your beloved died, something odd happened. Her soul was shattered and its pieces were scattered around the world. That event, for some reason, has weakened me. No, I'm not able to go by myself. I can find my strength. If you help me collect the fragments of her soul, along with the souls of creatures in your path, I shall bring her back to life. I will give you some of my power so that you're able. In the meantime, I'll be resting at the Temple of Souls. Um, just so you know, you should never make a deal with the devil. Also, have you noticed his eyes are fully open again, which means he is full of hope? And hey, he's running as well. He knows he's got to bring back, bring back his all. My scarf. To be strangled. Press W to use your ability. Oh shit, I can't get out of it. Um, hi! You, you're not gonna eat me, are you? You're going to eat me, aren't you? Brilliant, guys! We finished the game! Well done! Uh, oh. Where clap? That reminds me of Navi. Come on. Half expecting that to go. Hey, listen! Great, you're awake. For a moment, I thought you were. You were trapped in the shadow world for a few minutes. How do you even know? What are you? I had to get you out there before it was too late. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Heli. I'm going to stick around in case you decide to be reckless again. I actually thought she was part of the scarf because she was clinging on to the end of it. Okay, come on, Heli. Let's go on an adventure. Hi. Um. Hi. It's an Anu. Ah, I got. Whoa, shit. Okay. That wasn't meant to happen. Let's try again. He looks kind of cute. It reminds me of uh, No Name from the Ghibli movies. I said this is kind of like a Ghibli-esque game. So I will point these out. Oh. Be your girlfriends. We found our first soul fragment. And that was just the prologue, guys. Wow. Okay. This is a good start. A very good, interesting start, actually. Game by Double Hit Games. Okay. Angelo Parodi. I cannot say half these names. I am so, so sorry. I really can't pronounce. Julio Cesar Pereira. Oh, I'm not even going to try. I'm so sorry, guys. Anyway, everyone. Let's stop it here. Because I really, really don't want to spoil the rest of the game for you guys. It looks amazing so far. The art style is really suiting the emotional depth they want to portray in this game. The sounds Heli makes is um, a bit strange, but I'm. It's that. Um, the gameplay is incredible. Like, game mechanic of being able to switch through this world and the Shadow World reminds me a lot of another game called Prime where you do a similar element to solve puzzles, which is the same case in here. Um, I I thought this was going to be a sad game, considering the wording it had in the beginning, but I suppose that was to kind of like be in to the character of, well, we're going to call him Wee Man, because he hasn't got a name in this game. And being so happy and losing someone you love desperately, that is something we can all relate to. So this is a relatable game. So, if you look at the content I put out to see more that I do, please think of donating me a coffee. The link is in the description below, along with the game link, which is also in the description below. So if you fancy this game, if you enjoy this game, check it out on Steam. It was released 25th of June. It is well worth it. As you can see, it is pretty, it is easy to learn. It has a great story. This has been Eternal Hope Prologue. Thank you so much again, Double Hit Games, for letting me play this game. Obviously, uh, without you guys, I would not have known the game existed. Um, yeah. So, thank you all so, so much for watching, 
and I will see you on the next review day. Bye-bye.